Why do so many black men feel disrespected by black women? And why are so many black men just done? Let's just get here. Why no black women, Christopher? I mean, I've dated black women. I mean, obviously I'm a black man, but it seems like as I'm getting older, the world is changing. Sisters starting to have these crazy ass wants and needs that don't even align with what they have and what they have going on. So I'm kind of looking for somebody that's a little bit down to earth, that's more logical when it comes to finances. And so because of the financial request, is that the reason why you want to date outside your race? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've dealt with Latina and white women and they seem to be more down to earth. Oh, the 50-50 the thing? Let's be honest. Two incomes is better than one. Uh, I hear my sisters always talking about I'd rather pay 100% than go half with a man. It's crazy to me, to be honest with you. So according to the Department of Labor, for 2022, the average male income was 38000 per year, which breaks down to about $158 per working day. In contrast, I just ordered a pair of Hermes pool slides I'm going to throw around the resort for a weekend at about $360. $60, which means the average male would have had to work two full working days just to cover that light ass bill. A lot of these made up scenarios, conversations, discourse, negative comments, and so forth are being led by people inadequate and unqualified to even have these discussions. Black men, I'm gonna say it from, from me to you, this is just straight up. Black women, 80% of them, they don't like you. 80%, I'm, I'm probably sure it's more, but at least 80% of black women in this day and age, it don't matter how old or young they are, they have a general dislike and hatred for you. See, I'm not telling you something that you ain't already felt. I'm telling you something that you know. When a woman is not the best version of herself financially or is experiencing some financial hardships, you're not going to hear. It's rare that you hear men call these women broke bummy, no matter what. Because society has deemed a lot of women to believe that if a man isn't providing for him, her financially, solely, some women, it's like he serves no purpose. Let a man fall short or the wayside financially. Baby, watch how fast he come. Ain't shit, never been shit. You broke your mom. Your mama ain't shit. You need to go heal from childhood trauma. I mean, so much shit. I just want to know, people, why the rules are the part of you, Miss Mamas? Let me tell you this, especially if you look like me, you're a black woman, mm -hmm. we've never been oppressed. Black men have never been in a position to oppress us. White women have been oppressed because their men held all the power. Black men have always been trying to work their way up. So they've never put us in a position to oppress us. We've always had to work together back in the day with each other. So no, we've never, I don't believe women are, are oppressed. I feel like this is the most opportunity that we've ever had. I think every problem that we have, we put on ourselves. I think we bought into other mm -hmm. racist problems Mm -hmm. that got us working eight hours a day mm -hmm. want to say we want to go to the military we didn't ask for any of that and all i'm trying to get women to do is understand that the very guy 20 years ago that you probably wouldn't look at is the guy you need to be able to have a little bit more vision and say well if i get with him now and i stick with him now while i'm building with him now i can reap all the benefits later i spend time on this app all the time trying to educate and inform and get black women to have a different way of thinking. But no, they fight, fight hard to keep nonsense going, to not want to change a community, to not want to change themselves. He, he the only, he hated by everybody. His mama hated, his woman hated, the children hated, the job uh, hated. That's a hard life for anybody to try to survive up under. We have a different support system for us and it makes us think that we came up on our own. But as I said, we didn't come up on our own. Most of us, if we didn't get help from the enemy and he don't give our man the same help he give us. That makes yeah. us his woman. We're the enemy's woman. We married to the government. What up, gents? Welcome to TSG Uncut. I'm your host, Sean C. There's been a war that's been going on between black men and black women for a while now, particularly when it comes to dating and relationships. How do we get along? How we support each other? How we even go forward in today's modern society? But I want to do a longer video today to be able to really break down this subject to be able to show the things that black men feel disrespected about about some of the frustrations that even black women feel what is driving black men away from black women it's a longer video so please bear with me i put a lot of time and effort in it I, i've been up all night making this video so i hope you enjoy it with that being said let's get started all these women 
are hollering out what they need in a man and the only way they're gonna be with a man is if they have everything on their check on their bucket list a lot of women's bucket lists are literally absolutely fucking ridiculous and is a fantasy a lot of women say oh i don't want to be with a man unless he makes a certain amount this in a year i can't be with a man if it's not my way i can't be with a man if he doesn't whatever 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 the case may be did you ever think for one second looking over your life and your current situation are you making anywhere near what you want your partner to make these women are out here saying i need a man that's gonna make three hundred thousand a year four hundred thousand a year what are you bringing to the table because it sounds like you want somebody that make enough money that you could live off of instead of you putting in the own work and appreciating a man that already has a nine to five and is doing his best to make sure that you eat instead of putting a price on a man all you need to put priorities and responsibilities on a man and if you see them taking care of that priorities and responsibility that's a fucking man not how much money is in his bank account it's gonna take a special kind of man to marry me because i'm a lot how much know? does he need to make you know what a lot i mean i don't want to say like it's a number attached to it because i go with how people make me feel but i'm not gonna get on here and lie and be like oh my god i want to date a guy that makes less money than me like no i don't like i love chanel like i love to travel i am very luxury i work hard so i can have a luxury life all of my men that i've ever dealt with treats me very well and I, we only upgrade and like baby i don't want to ever be told no a lot of y'all are right there's nothing wrong with the cheesecake factory for you what that's fine for you but that's not okay for me that's my preference i don't want to go to cheesecake factory on the first day that's why y'all ass don't get shit because y'all don't have no fucking standards you're always gonna accept whatever a nigga gives to you i don't accept what a nigga gives to me i'm gonna tell that nigga what i want okay and i get what i want but let me also say as a man you shouldn't be paying no girls bills if y'all not married i don't believe in that it's like i'm just partying every single weekend and I'm gonna have to party tomorrow and then I'm gonna have to party in two weeks from now. That's why you're not getting no play. Because you ain't up in no pay. You know what I'm saying? You Nobody's asking you to buy the bar out. A $6, $10, $12, $15 drink, that's gonna hurt your pockets. That's gonna, it's gonna hurt you to do that. Question that needs answers. Nobody's asking you to buy the bar out. Nobody's asking you to buy shots for everybody in the club. Like a, a small drink, it's gonna kill you to do that. And it was so many fragile men on there like, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with these females nowadays. They always expect for a man to spend some money. And you and you always expecting for somebody to give up some. Hmm. There's women out there that will walk away from a good man. To my, oh, he wanted to go half on rent. He wanted to go half on Facts. Like, you know how fatuous and name that is to say he wanted to go half. First of all, you are responsible for 100% of your life as an adult. 100% of your problems, 100% of your bills, 100% of your stress. And you mean to tell me you had a man right there like, I'll take half of that from you. And you was like, that ain't good enough. Right. Damn. I want you to take it all. I don't want to have no responsibility as an adult. And that is financial abuse. And that is feminine manipulation. So then, mm -hmm. fellas, you need to walk away. So God damn. To find women to be mean as hell. I'm sorry. We're really? Oh, oh, my yes. gosh. Am I mean? Oh, yes. yes. Jasmine, are you mean? A little bit. Yeah, you might be. I'm straightforward, too. Yeah. I'm in your face and on your world. But I'm not mean. Okay. Are, do, are you aggressive? No. I'm assertive. Okay. I'm not aggressive. What's the difference? Well, first of all, your intention. Okay. And assertiveness, it's about dominion and accomplishing a particular thing. And aggressive, it's about control and getting what you're going for. Okay. okay. And there's a difference. One comes from the head. One comes from the heart. I said, you're not going to hit me, though. You're not going to hit me, though. You ain't going to hit me, though. You ain't going to hit me, though. Is you? Is you? Ma'am, no ma'am. Go ahead and get my house because you're not going to keep coming around me and my husband like dressed like this. Just because your man got issues. No, no ma'am. No ma'am. Niece, niece. And you old and nothing. You in broad daylight. Get your you house. You just You can't you come back over here no more you dressed like that. You wish that you could look you like You need to be this. modest. You walk around looking like a... Why? 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 You, you should be thinking like about your moral value. You tell your mom. I'm going to call your mama. I'm going to call my sister and tell you need to raise you a little better. You wish you could get good at me. I you look like a dude walker. You ain't gonna have no husband. Baby, Billy, you, you ain't gonna, gonna have your no husband like that. But you know, your homeboys ain't your friends. Mm. Your homeboys ain't your friends. And I know the other one got more money than you. Um, you know what? I'm gonna call him. That's fine. Cause I'm gonna call crazy. him. You got, you got calls. I'm gonna sit on that tonight. You got calls. Wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. Put a wig on her head. Uh, because it's long and it's pretty. Why do you think she has a wig on her head? What do you mean? She looks crazy with that wig on. She doesn't need that. Okay, why doesn't she need it? Because she has natural, beautiful hair already. Okay, she doesn't but need her to hair is not growing. She wants it to be long and pretty, just like her mother and her cousins and her sisters. So I gave her a wig. So what? No, she doesn't need that. 
Her hair is just fine. The way it is, it's long and it's pretty and it's instant. It's not. You ain't that's a wig. To... Okay. You gonna make it grow this fast? So you can that's get your hair done, but you can't take care of our baby's hair? First of all, I'm helping her because she likes her hair to be long and pretty. She likes to fit in. She likes to feel beautiful. Oh, wait. What you mean? Look, look, look. It got step and everything. These like, steps not even even. What is you talking about? Like, why are you being like that? Because it's not. I'm not living like, I do here. Something I can't for, live here. It's for us. I do something for us. I mean, that's how I mean like that? What you mean? I'm recording this moment. This recording? is supposed to be a it's, beautiful moment. It's not a beautiful moment no more. This, I'm not living here. I don't like this. Who are you crazy? Boy, you gonna like you gonna disrespect me like that? This, a real man would not get in no house like this. Oh, for real? Most men really only leave a woman when she is meeting him with masculine energy because now he doesn't see the need for you. So what do you think men's deal breakers are? I think men always need to feel respected and mm -hmm. they need to feel like men. So no matter what they do, if they've lost that feeling that they're in control and that they've lost your respect, it's a deal. I think that's it. They won't ever be the same. It's, so they will search elsewhere for that woman who's now going to have that respect or the, whatever you've lost, mm -hmm. they're going to look for it in someone else now. Bruh. It's so crazy how quick I can get a new nigga. Walk in the store, boom, nigga. Post a picture, boom, nigga. Stop at the red light, boom, nigga. Like, y'all niggas be acting like y'all the prize. You wanna fuck up? You wanna act up? I'ma show you how much I cut up, okay? A lot of these women be like, I know my value. Value is what? You're just like every other chick out here. I've seen a thousand of you. You're selfish, you're entitled, you're sneaky, you're manipulative. What is your value? Don't be nice to him all the time. Always have an attitude and then be nice every once in a while. Make Make sure that he is continuously chasing you. Don't chase him. Don't always be available to him for sex. Don't cook, don't clean for him. Especially if you ain't even married. Make him realize that you're the prize and always look so good that he knows you got options. So when you leave the house, he get a little nervous. That's how you keep him chasing and in love, okay? Men love mean women, period. Don't be his piece. Sparkle, sparkle. Most of us couldn't even handle a nigga with six figures, a nigga with anything over what we used to dealing with. We don't even know how to talk to a nigga with six figures. You used to talking to a nigga like trash. You used to being able to kind a nigga with your pussy when a nigga don't need you and when pussy don't excite him and he know his work don't have to put up with the shit you coming with. That shit don't fly. You got to adjust or you can go and find the same type of nigga that you used to dealing with. You know how many women I see turn around and pop their ass and all it'd be a house full of women popping their ass and they hollering, hey! Every time the black women do something now with some music, she got to turn and turn that ass. When you're in Miami, you walking up down Ocean Drive, you go hear some hey, and when you look over, it's a bunch of black women, they got their hand on the ground, they got their ass in the air, they bellies hanging up under their shirt, but they got them asses flopping and showing. Oh. Dudes that's on the streets, y'all gotta step y'all game up, y'all are losing to these dudes that's in the damn prison system, okay? I was on TikTok last night. And I ran across a live. It was like four dudes that was in the feds. Do y'all know it's like, it was thousands of girls on there, like being so fucking thirsty, asking these locked up dudes, oh, what's your JPay? I want to see you some money. I want to come see you. I want to be your pen pal. Like has a dating pool become that fucking bad that we got to reach out to niggas that's locked up for love? And these niggas is winning. Like they taking all the bitches, the bad ones too. Like y'all dudes on the streets gotta step y'all game up. Y'all are losing terribly. It's not men who are changing. It's not men who are doing something. The vast majority of the decline that we're seeing in family and birth rates is because of the choices that women are making. And now we have social media and dating apps that makes it possible for a woman who was a four, five, six to get skeeted down into by a top ten, top nine, 10 chatter Tyrone. For the most part, their behavior, they believe because they have a degree, because they make a certain amount of money or because they just desire a man that anything below that is dating down. Well, they don't realize the men that they want because they give those men access but for what's between their legs even though they have these high standards they're willing to sleep with any man and not even having basic conversation they don't even have to go on a date to give away their body to a man but yet when you ask them what they bring to the table that's their most precious commodity even though it has high mileage high body count and is ran through and it's really nothing special if you are dating someone that you've been dating for a while say you guys are deep down deep in the relationship maybe about 
a year or so to the point where you feeling like, okay, it's time to take it to the next step. The thing that you find out is that maybe back in the day, she had a train ran on her by people that you knew. Would that change how you felt about her? Would you have a conversation with her? Mm. I, I went on a first date. And when I opened the door, my man was at my front door. And I was like, oh, he hit me with the Rico. He pulled the flowers out. And I was like, wow, this is different, right? He opened my car door. I get inside. He closed the door. I immediately went to my group chat. It's weird. <laughs> Did you say he opened your car door? My follow-up text was, y'all, that's my bad. I, I just realized, I, and all that stuff we be talking about, we don't really want it. He technically did everything that we be saying we be wanting. In my mind, instinctively, my first thought was, he corny. But he really did everything that we want. Y'all, tell me why this dude told me to meet him at Osaka's at 6. And so, like, 6.10, I'm like, I'm on my way, but he never texts back. And I get here, he's nowhere to be found. It's 650. You told the man to be there at 6 o'clock. He was there at 6 o'clock. You left your house at 610. You didn't get there till 650. He's not there because you're 40 minutes late. Good looks is not going to sit here and help you keep a man respectfully. Every woman I was kind to wind up f***ing somebody else. But the ones who I dogged, Isn't them that? motherfuckers be there when I call. Them bitches be like, y'all yeah, gonna be there. We do not sleep with somebody that we're not attracted to. We don't care if you're nice. Listen, if a sexy guy is sleeping on his mom's couch and he's got game and he's sexy, a woman will sleep with him. Mm -hmm. She won't friend zone him, but she'll friend zone a nice guy who does all the right things and she's not sexually attracted to. She'll take your money, she'll take your time, and then she'll tell you goodbye. We, we, it was programmed like that. You know how this shit is like, oh, you doing good in school or you lame. Are you sitting in the front of the bus or you lame? Are you doing this? Are you doing some right shit or you lame? You know what right. I'm saying? You nigga talk right. You know what I'm saying? Speak well. You lame. You know what I'm saying? So it's like program motherfuckers is like, man, I got to just do some gangster shit to be cool or to be accepted. Bruh. One of your girlfriends went to a Drake concert, but he invited y'all to his tour bus for the night. What's the excuse you going to give your man? I'm single, so I'm married. Ain't no excuse. He know I'm with Drake. That's it. My phone down. Drake invited me on the tour bus. I gotta go. The basic excuse, my phone died. There's no excuse. I'll be back. It's Drake. I think you understand. <laughs> I'm turning off my location. He ain't got no. I was sleeping. I'm gonna let him know where I'm going. I cheated a lot of times. So you're a cheater. I am a cheater. Oh, no, I'm gonna tell the truth. I cheat. You do cheat. Yeah. Why do you cheat? When I feel like he gets bored. Sometimes I need that nigga to keep paying my bills. I got hooked on something much more dangerous than drugs. I became addicted to something called hoes. <laughs> Shut up! Guys gotta stop chasing women, man. It's an imbalance to chase a woman who you are supposed to take care of financially. You supposed to chase a woman and chase after her while she dealing with other people and you supposed to chase after her to take care of her? After I gave him the ultimatum, he just looked at me in my face and was like, if you feel like you need to move, move. And so we went through three months of like chicken where I had no friends in Vegas, no family in Vegas. I just really blurted that out. I did not mean it. I had no intention. I had no job. I had nothing. I had no plans on moving to Vegas. I thought I was going to force this man to propose to me. So the last day I was putting my stuff in the car, he came over and helped me put my stuff in the car and we putting stuff in the trunk and I just start crying. I'm like, you really going to let me leave? He looked at me and he said, have a safe trip. Just remember when she come back, it ain't because that bitch give a fuck about you. It's because don't nobody give a fuck about that bitch. But women hate for a man to know his word. Yeah, we don't like that shit. Nigga come around thinking he know his word. Oh, he too good for this, he too good for that. A man that know his word they ain't gonna let us play with him. And I don't like that. I, me personally, I don't like that. Men don't approach women anymore. And the real reason why they don't approach women anymore is not because you're successful. It's not because you're beautiful. They don't approach women anymore because these new day women, these modern day women are highly disrespectful. These women are so confused, right? They're so confused. They swear that nobody hollers at them. Nobody 
approaches them, no one pursues them, but why would a man pursue you when as soon as he even works up the nerve to say something to you, you reject him, you belittle him, you tell him that he's thirsty, you tell him that he's pressed, you tell him that he doesn't have enough money, you tell him that he does not qualify for your time or your attention, and then you wonder why they don't want to deal with you. It's not that black women are undesirable. The personality of a lot of black modern women is undesirable. The stigma of you feel like you don't need a man, can't nobody tell you nothing. The mindset of a lot of black women is undesirable. Sometimes we want to just play like, oh my goodness, nobody want black women. Where you getting that from? The truth is a lot of black women are a product of a generation of other black women screaming to the top of their lungs, I don't need a man. Black women are more likely to be single mothers. So they're more likely to be the head of the household. Black women are more likely to be in poverty. The reason is because single parent households are more likely to be in poverty. Nuclear families, a man and a woman married together are more likely to be financially stable than not. So if you are a single mother and you come from a single mother-led family, the stats say you're more likely to be in poverty. I don't want to deal with your daddy. You don't want to, you don't have to deal with him, but you don't have to do, you don't want to deal with me, your own son? No, and you look just like him, you act like him. Ugh. Mama, you want to disown your own son. You want a relationship with your daddy? Of course, it's my father. And I want to And you want, and you tell me I, I look just like you. Yeah. Mama, that is because of you. If it's some mothers in here, bro, please stop. Please let your child see their father, especially if they a good father. Let your child see they follow. If y'all just don't know, that ruins us inside. Like, it ruins us bad. Like, our, our relationship, like, we have to grow up with this. And this could forever be a story of our lives growing up without our father. Like, if you if you got a child right now and you're literally keeping them away from their father, you ruin the kid's life. Black men do not fight hard enough to be a parent in their children's lives. Oh, really? Oh, you gotta love statements like this. I'm sure people out there think, well, black guys, he ain't with his family. What's this stat? Oh my God, it looks like you're wrong. <laughs> My dad fought for me. My dad fought for me for years until he couldn't anymore. And he waited until I turned 18 so he can finally talk to me, reach out to me. But in the process of that, do you understand how much I suffered? Wanting and needing a father. The fact that my mom kept me and deprived me from a man who was trying to love me and take care of me is awful. What you mean you don't want this baby no more? Young lady, you 17 years old. This baby didn't choose to be here. You gotta understand. Once you lay down and open your legs to these little boys and bring this baby into this world, this becomes your responsibility. You gotta do this stuff for her. You just can't give her up for adoption and say you don't want her no more. That's not how this life works, young lady. Yeah, I gave this baby up for adoption. Why'd you give my baby up for adoption, Alicia? Because you weren't here, you were in jail. I don't wanna be a single mother by myself. Alicia, I was gone 10 months and my baby was just born a month ago. Well, I need, I want to live my life, like I just told you. I didn't know how long you was going to be in jail. I wanted to be outside, be in the streets, travel, get a bag, and get I can't bag. do that with no child, and you in, you in prison. You can go on blackstatistics.com and see that 80% of the children are born out of wedlock, yet 54% of black men are childless and single, and 30% are married, which means 84% is not in this equation. So that means that majority of the black women are having children with men that are less than 20% of the entire male population. The lion's share of children being born in the black community is only being reproduced by less than 20% of the black men. We start taking for granted these relationships and you think the grass is going to be green on the other side. He's realizing it ain't down here either. There's only so much new pussy you can get. I mean, honestly, <laughs> okay. I, mean, they're, they're, I mean, I'm being honest, you're not kids anymore. And it doesn't sound like y'all had anything really major. We don't have a community or a culture that supports marriage. A lot of men, we don't really run away from marriage. We run away from divorce. That's a fact. <sighs> I love my girl to death, but you mean to tell me if I make one mistake, they can ruin me for the rest of my life on one mistake? If she make a mistake, it's cool. She make a mistake, divorce is good. She, she just go on about her life. I make a mistake that can cost me for the rest of my life. That ain't really fair. I'm 35. My parents been married since I was five. So this coming from a married married home couple, I'm, it's really a money game now. It seems like it's like, I right, I get married. There's no benefits for me. 
There's no, it's no benefits for me but to make her happy. So y'all do know that it's easier for a woman to spoil a man than for a man to spoil a woman. So why y'all not doing it? It's literally so simple. And don't talk to me nothing about no money because it don't even take money to spoil a man. You fix that man a sandwich, oh, he gonna love you. So you're saying men, masculine men, they act like that because it's their nature. I mean, a man is supposed to lead, isn't it? I mean, that's not leading. Bossing people around. Yeah, that's what the leadership is. Leadership is giving directions. Now, if your man says, "Hey, I'm hungry. Go downstairs and fix me a sandwich." You, you look at your face. Now, let's reverse it. But this but is it's something about like, go make me. It's, it's almost the same. Okay, cool. It's almost the same as like, I was let's, cleaning my room and then your parent walks in and is like, clean your room. It's like, damn, I was doing that already. Right, you work at a dealer's. Hey, um, clean out your register and, and go to register six. That's giving direction. <laughs> but bossing. You can't make this shit up. No, but bossing. You I cannot like make and... this shit up. <laughs> to tell me that the man that loves you, protects for you, provides for you, upgraded your lifestyle, watch them badass kids of yours, teach your son how to play football, ask you to go get him something to eat, and you're going to look at him crazy. But that boss that is going to keep you in that hamster wheel of a job, because you're going to work 40 hours a week for 40 years and retire broke, but as soon as that nigga asks you to do something, you do it. I don't understand that, because a boss can tell a woman to get up out the bed and drive 30 minutes to the goddamn job and go clock them hours because somebody, somebody didn't show up. And as soon as Tyrone want a goddamn ham sandwich and some pussy, they want to act fun. What is it? First Timothy, what? Will you please read it again, Craig? Because that's deep. First Timothy 2 provides more clarity. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. Wait, I'm sorry. I ain't trying to break you up. It's all good. It's all good. He said, let a woman learn quietly. All submissiveness. With all submissiveness. Do you want to break that down? That means shut the f up and if you do say something be very careful as you speak it what else to say Craig? i do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man wait 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 that means shut the f up bitch. they said it in the bible God, hey. women are add-ons to a man who's already living a fulfilled life she's not there to be your purpose the women don't like to be that for men that's why they cheat on you you put too much pressure on a woman when you try to make her your world. They're not built for this shit, man. Let me ask the married woman, what is the most important thing to keep a relationship, in your opinion? I would say just knowing that my job right now for myself is to serve my husband and understanding that and being, you know, obedient to him. And I have a very strong personality, so there's obviously been some, like, times where he's like, no, you promised, you vowed to me that you would be obedient. So that means that you're going to be obedient even when you disagree with me. Mm. So that's something that I've had to learn, but I've everything is just so much more smoothly like i i'm so indecisive as a woman we're so indecisive i make a decision and then i'm immediately like second guessing it and he just makes the decision so it keeps all that responsibility out of my hands and just trusting your husband and i just listen to him so i honestly think listening and <laughs> trusting your man i saw that you were making some faces you disagree <laughs> honestly the way you're referring to yourself sounds like a dog thanks let, let me give you some of these stats when it comes to marriage specifically black women are the least to marry least likely of women to marry Black women are the most likely to divorce or be separated from their significant other. Black women are less likely to be married than black men. So there are more black men that are married than black women. And say that with white women, their mothers taught them how to be a wife. That works out for them because statistically we see it. We see their family unit continue to grow. Even if they get divorced, they get married again. Yes, yeah. they do. They do. While we still single. Yeah, do you exactly. think their attitude to marriage is the same as black women's after? No. So that's why they get the different results. We do. They go to college to get the husbands. MRS degrees. To yeah. prove you don't need a husband. What's the biggest red flag in a guy? Being white. <laughs> How much money does a guy need to make in order to be with you? None. I will love them either way. <laughs> really? If they're black. <laughs> <laughs> How tall does he have to be? He has to be black. Okay, fantastic. Now, um, my audience is a lot of black American men and black English men, black Canadian men. What do you feel about black men? Would you date a black man? Do you um, like black men? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. I, I, I really love the black skin. <laughs> Are you more likely to see black men dating white women or white men dating black women? You see black men dating white women all the time. You don't see white men dating black women all the time. Black men dating white women. And why is that? Um, To be honest, I'm not really quite sure. I feel like they might be intimidated by us black women. Wow. Are you ladies single? 
I'm very much single. Single now. Do you feel like dating is more challenging as a black woman than it would to be any nope. woman of a lighter skin tone? Nope, nope. Because I get Caucasian men, I get Asian men, I get African American men, I get all types of different ethnic groups that's willing to take care of me and be my significant other or a husband or boyfriend, but I don't condone to it because I know what I, I, know what I was raised to accept and I have not met that guy yet. I do think in this society sometimes it does present a little bit of challenges. I haven't had many because I have had a very successful, very long marriage at a point. I love black men, I just don't know if they love us all the time. Black men, I do believe, treat other cultures a little bit differently. I don't know what it is, but I do believe sometimes that they are a little bit more gentle with other races of women. I see a couple. You know, you know, maybe first date, drop, you know, you know how it is. Whatever, maybe he's dropping her off at her car, whatever. Black guy, white girl. So it immediately catches my attention. She was the, she was the normal, right? Normal woman that stereotypically, not saying always, I'm saying the stereotype that comes to mind when we think of a white woman that dates black men, she fit the bill. But y'all, when I tell you this man looked like Fuhad from shits and gigs. Fuhad is like 5'10", 5 5'9", 5 you know, maybe 5'11". This guy was like 6'2", broad shoulders, dark, beautiful, probably Nigerian or, or Ghanaian skin. Beaut he was beautiful. I, I had a little drool. But think Winston from Black Panther body. I was staring. And, and no, and maybe she's wonderful. Maybe she's, maybe she's everything that he's looking for. And I'm hating. I'm not, I will, I will admit that I, I could just be hate, I could be hate. I absolutely love when these kind of black males say stuff like, oh, we don't date black women. No, hun, black women don't date you because let's just keep it a buck. Like, let's just keep it honest. The black males that act like they don't date black women are just the black males that black women have passed up on for years because something is wrong with them. Come on now, black women don't date you. I, I get a lot of friends because I have respect for women, ultra respect for women. But then, like, I, I was I was liking this girl in Tam, and um, and I'm extra nice, you know, extra gentleman. I'm extra just like, oh, you're beautiful and you deserve the best. She told me I was too nice. I couldn't believe it. We, we It wouldn't work because I was too nice. That was the ultimate stab in the back. So I went through a week of just going, forget it, I'm just gonna be like them. Because they seem to get the girls and they're, they're, they call girls the B word, you know? And they smack and beat and they are get, they're getting girls. And I'm going, peace and I think you're beautiful. And, I'm, and they're going to be, well, I like him because he's masculine. I'm masculine. What's the thing with basketball men and white women? What's that about? People in sports and white women. I think a majority of what we see is men choosing women who are willing to do for them what needs to be done or what they need to feel within a relationship. She probably waits on him hand and foot, gives him sound advice, talks to him respectfully, and the list goes on and on and on. If you are a black woman and you know you have a good black man at home, you need to do what it takes to keep that black man. There are not a lot of available good black men out here that are still interested in dating black women. So then there's a large percentage of those black men that are incarcerated. There's another percentage of those men that are just into men. It's just the world that we live in. There's another percentage of those men that are already taken and married. And a lot of them are not marrying the black women. So when you do come across a black man that is single and good and actually willing to date a black woman, how do you ensure that he is actually desiring you and wants to commit to you? The number of black men who are marrying outside of their race has drastically increased, which simply just means they are not picking us. And that is a big concern for me. Y'all sisters, y'all need to stop this <laughs> Y'all be the most hate motherfuckers be hating on the, uh, uh, them, them brothers be getting a white woman. Y'all be the first one to criticize them. Look at them crazy. Y'all couldn't handle us. Go get you a white girl because you couldn't handle us. Well, first of all, a man shouldn't have to handle your crazy ass anyway. And if he has to, he need to put your ass behind some padded walls. Y'all know y'all don't like that Y'all just like it more than, than the brothers seeing y'all a white man. We don't give a shit. What race do you prefer? White boys. So what do you like about the white king? I just have him like a bigger attraction towards white men. Okay. I'm gonna be so real with you. I feel like anytime if I were to like walk out with a white guy right now, I feel like I'd get so many looks from black men being like, you're a traitor. Like, why would you do that? Well, like we think y'all, y'all, y'all crazy anyway. Cause y'all got that white boy cause he don't want to go put up with your crazy ass. We, I, I don't care that he took you. There's plenty of you heifers out there. And a black man of a certain status 
forget any race or woman. Black women, if you want to date outside of your race, you need to be disciplined. When they say we're going to the gym at 530 in the morning, you better be up at five o'clock getting ready. They are not going to deal with the lack of discipline and what we make black men put up with, they are not going to go for that. What we make black men put up with, they are not going to go for that. You literally have women that look like you, Queen, that are mm -hmm. saying, we don't need men. We don't need them. Isn't that crazy? Good. But then the same women that say, well, we don't need y'all, you get mad when they go elsewhere. Facts. But I don't hear people going crazy when Serena marries her husband or Eve marries her husband because yeah. it's a double standard. Yeah. They'll say, I'll take that billionaire too. But again, are we focused on the love aspect or are we focused on what you think or how that looks? Mm -hmm. I'm big on, you know, black love, but I'm also big on love. Bruh. Woman over 30s, what are we supposed to do? I am so lost. I've never been so lost in my life. I have a very clear sense of direction, but I'm lost. Anyone else can relate? I needed to do this for me. I needed to dis discover certain things about myself. And now that I have discovered it, I know what I want. So I'm actively looking for my tribe, my person, my forever person. <laughs> You serious? And the truth about it is, y'all, I want to be loved. I want marriage. You know, a lot of us get on here, we act tough, and we be like, I don't want a man, I don't need a man, but I want help. I want to be loved. But the problem for me, y'all, is that all the relationships that I had with men were not about love. It was about survival for me. I know how to fuck. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. I know how to seduce a man. I do not know how to love a man. That men, their whole life was taught how to treat a woman and not what to expect from a woman. But women were taught their whole life what to expect from a man, but not how to treat a man. Women can't handle the truth. We say we can, but we can't. If you tell me that the reason we're, our relationship is like in an uproar or something because of something that I did, that will make me feel as a woman inadequate. That'll make me have all of these other emotions. So I'm just gonna flip it. Jedi mind trick you. It's you, because if you didn't say that, it would, but when you said it, you was like, you know, and I'm gonna find a reason, and then if all else fail, I'm gonna cry. Mm. This conversation that women already have. Anything involving the truth, that's just where they fold up at women when you're telling the truth. They're gonna say you're being rude. This conversation that women already have. I'm not about to cuff you if you like can't show me that you can only talk to me during the talking phase. This conversation that women already have. Just because you get your feelings hurt or cheated on does not mean you can stay or blow somebody's car up. Your feelings are not an excuse. Conversation that women already have. That everything's handed to them. It was conversation that women already have. Women, women I mean, cheat. Way more if just not like the same as They also not ready to have that 50-50 conversation. What'd you bring into the table besides <laughs> your cat? Women can know a hundred ways to catch a man cheating, but don't know three ways to make a man happy. You paying attention to all the negative bullshit. You paying attention to the inconsistencies of his daily routine of how he treats you. You ain't trying to find the root of why he changed on you. You just think that he cheated. No, maybe because I'm going through some shit. Maybe I'm really depressed. Maybe that you're not really fulfilling your role as a woman. Maybe you're not making me happy. Have you ever thought about that? If I am trying to find the best, the best woman for me, mm -hmm. and I want to be to be, be able to identify if a woman is going to be receptive of leadership, how would I like? What are some signs that I would know? Like, how do I figure this out? Humility. I think humility is one. I think when a woman encourages you, watch this. We know we don't have it all together in certain areas. We know. It may be a little deficiency here, a little deficiency there. Yeah. When she don't expose the sufficient, the insufficiency, and she feels it, oh my God. Then you know without a shadow of a doubt that uh, she's trying to make you better. Because some women gonna expose mm -hmm. you not this, you not that, you don't have this, you don't have that. When she don't expose it, but she step in and say, "Hey, have you thought about this?" She can feel the role. It's a difference between a person exposing and feeling the role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Because when they expose it, they trying to take away. They may be trying to take away from you so they can control you, not let you get so high, because they afraid that you might try to think more of yourself than what you are. Yeah. But then you got another woman that's confident. She ain't worried about if I feel the role, he gonna go with somebody else. Mm -mm. Her assignment is to make you better. I want to hear from you. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about today's video additionally you're going to want to watch this video right here it's going to keep the conversation going and i know you're going to enjoy it